Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip Tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at where to view your client's portal activity within Matrix. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so for anyone who's familiar with sending listings to a contact, you already know that they're able to view these properties simply by visiting their client portal. Now as an agent, it's important to know not only if your client has visited their portal, but also specific actions they took while they were in it. And fortunately, Matrix allows you to view their recent activity, either from a specific client's contact page or for all of your clients from the dashboard's timeline. And what you'll see here is a collection of your client's portal activity during the past seven days, with their most recent events being at the top. Now to ensure that your timeline's activity is fully up to date, you'll just need to select the refresh icon located in the header. And to choose which of your client's activities appear in the timeline, simply select the settings icon, then enable or disable any of the specific actions. And again, by doing this, you'll limit the timeline to only show the most recent portal activities that you're interested in. Like in this example, which shows a recently favorited property. And finally, by selecting the view all button, I can access a dedicated timeline page. And from here, just like the dashboard, we can enable or disable any of the specific actions. As well as check any new activity by manually refreshing the timeline. But unlike the dashboard, this page displays activities beyond seven days, allowing you to select any time frame during the past two weeks. And we're also able to filter our client's actions by type, which we can further filter by address. And finally, to only view the actions belonging to a specific contact, simply add the client's name, then use any of the other filters to isolate the activity or the time frame. And you'll notice in this example that the client recently added a note associated with a property, which we're able to reply to right here in the timeline. All right, well, this concludes this quick tip tutorial. I'd like to thank for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.